here's the dilemma. I got a free car and lots and, and several, but anyways, one of them's a Thunderbird or a shitty Blunderbird. But no keys. So I've never stolen one of these before, so took a look underneath the steering column to see what's going on. Well, once I got the plastic off, I just got a dummy key in there that don't work. I noticed underneath there's a little pin. If I move that, it looks like if that pin is drilled out, the cylinder will come out and I'll be able to get this thing started if it runs. So, I've got a portable drill. So, I guess all I gotta do is this and we'll see what happens. Well, I got bad news. Drilling them doesn't work. There's another hidden pin that just wouldn't come out, so. Got myself a monkey wrench. Did a little bit of prying. Broke the lock cylinder out. And I don't know where it flew to, but it's somewhere in here. And just a little tap with you know, medium-sized hammer. But now, this is how you start it. So I gotta put a battery in it. Well, looky here. We got a 3.8. We have no idea if the head gaskets are good. They always go bad on these motors. This one's got 168,000 kilometers. That's only 70,000 miles. So I'll put a battery in and see if she cranks. If she cranks, I'll have to put some fuel in it. There's no gas cap, so it could have all evaporated. Well, I crawled underneath, found the disconnected transmission gear shift selector linkage, and now I'm going to see if the motor cranks. Oh. It does crank and it actually sounds normal but I don't hear a fuel pump so I wonder if it's been triggered. It's, I don't know where it's hidden. It could be in the trunk where the switch is that shuts them off. Now let's see what's wrong with the fuel pump in the gas tank. shit. Talk about a rust bucket. Holy shit, there's not even a frame left. It's so rotten. Cool, independent rear suspension. Oh, there's the plastic gas tank under there. That's good news. But why ain't the fuel pump turning on? Well, I got my test meter. It's hooked up to the fuel pump wires on this piece of shit. So let's see if we're getting power to the fuel pump. So, take the key in, turn it. 12.47. Oh, yep, we got power to the fuel pump, so because this thing's been stored all these years, who knows how long without a gas cap, I guess the fuel pump seized up. Tank's probably dried right out. Gotta do another red redneck gas tank. What a sight for sore eyes. Well, finally got the fuel tank out of this pig. A few pieces of high technology equipment. Um. No wonder it don't work. It is so corroded by being left all those years with no gas cap on. Well, throw that piece of crap away. Use the hoses and 
start from scratch and guess we'll have to put a gas tank in the back seat. Well, I got my handy dandy redneck gas can hooked up from the destroyed and killed ram van, if you know what I mean. So I'm all ready for first try to see if this Thunderbird works. I have no idea. I don't know the history of it. But just before we start it, I notice we have some issues. More bees, please. And stay away from me. I have no idea what's going to happen. I just found out earlier it cranks. Piece of shit. Here we go. Oh, shit's happening. I don't believe it. Hmm, it's firing a little bit. Whoo, we're getting close. Piece up. Come on. Oh yeah. It's a runner. Door don't work. Locks busted. Windows busted. Oh, she's a runner. That's working. She's quiet. Sure does have a good exhaust system. I guess this beast was retired because of rust. Well, now I gotta throw my gas can inside and hopefully the brakes will unseize themselves. If not, just use a bigger hammer. Uh-oh, uh, we do have some uh, bad fuel lines, I suppose. So we'll have to shut her off for a bit. <laughs> 